comes the axe. Prove yourself! Jungle. Flip flop for a strike into the Illuminate. Coming out onto Grimms as Nando moves forward. But Lumic is aiming for these shards. Knows the Burrow strikes on cooldown for a couple of seconds. It's one second now until Flip Flop can move, and it looks like he's fine as the first blood goes the way of the Cottle. But he's so quick. 408 move speed as the two man Burrow strike comes out into the Illuminate. But Grimms and Lumic, they turn back, face Flip Flop. Caustic Finale, it is going with another Illuminate coming up soon. He'll charge it, Burrow strike it, and slay it. Disruptor dead again. Just now, as the sprinting old man on the horse, he goes for a bit of a run around. A Burrow strike onto Nando. He pops out his metamorphosis, and this could be a kill onto Flip Flop. He does have another Burrow, but he dies just before he gets the patrol, though. Look at how many denies he has. Illogic with some sick CS abilities. Popping heads. And they kill Flip Flop again. Trying to aim in there onto the Cottle. Might die to Thunderstrike, actually. Will die to Thunderstrike. Grab these last hits. The Space Hugger pops the flat cannon there. Split Earth won't quite connect as they were trying to move in with Lumix. The Snowball into Shards. Open things up onto Face Hugger, but that's a lot of damage Lumix taking with the tower attacks and the homing missile. It's quite enough. Tango Regen keeping that next assassin nicely alive. Swing back from Flip Flop, coming in with a snowball now as Lumic traps in the Sand King, and Flip Flop will die with the Metamorphosis back up again. Next wave, drag it through the bounty rune, take that for himself as he goes back up onto his own high ground. But a nice little pull there. Does actually grab the creeps away from the next assassin. Van will steal a couple of last hits on his way through. As Carl died mid, Grimms gets the trade back on Gyro and, well, Cottle. Trying to go to work here on the Disruptor. Two more hits. Oh, one more hit. He high rolls on it. It is Lumic coming in to deal with him. Snowball up with the shards. And this may open things for the well, Shrak to get the kill. In fact, it's Lumic who takes the last. A lot of damage on Lumic, but Sand King without Burrow Strike here might be in trouble. A quick Lightning Storm into Split Earth, and it'll land this time. A kill to Carl. He's in a smoke. Interestingly there, used by Avil. They don't trap the Gyro inside, and the Ice Blast turned around. Does clip Van, but the Gyro glimps back. Taken inside that Static Storm, and the Flip Flop Sand King is going to get ripped apart now as well. Down to 15 HP, and Nando with a triple kill. Oh, they nearly had Grimm's there. How did Facehugger die? Facehugger died top lane. Kimo and Carl going to work. Grimm's does die, but I want to watch the troll for TB. TB is farming better, fighting better, and ganking better with the help of his friends. And they'll bring the gyro down again, and they can convert this into some objective. Van Invis, two man borrow in, but there's the kinetic field. Troll turns to fight, takes down two. Bizarre scenes there as well. No static storm meant no good fight. Flip flop. No mana for the burst strike quite there as Grimms tries to juke through the trees, but a fast TP here from the gyro will open it up for a nice simple kill. Edge themselves towards the gyro. Nando there, the smoke does pop, but with the vision. They glimpse the gyro into the nice little Thunderdome there, and Nando rails away the team. Snowball. Oh, they went in deep. Oh, boy. This Burrow Strike should be able to clear him up, though. Pop goes the Tusker. You would expect me. Burrow and Ice Blast both missing as the kinetic field. And the Impale come out. They'll lose their two supports here, or the support in their off lane. There's really much room to get his own farm going. But a full BKB here for him. And one soon for the troll. But look at this. Burrow into Ice Blast. And Nando in trouble. Sunders back onto a logic. The cooldown will come. And Nando will drop. The mega kill streak gone. 
As Carl arrives now, maybe too little too late though, he will get the split earth onto Sand King, trying to turn this damage back in onto Evos. But with a Castle Gyro and AA coming through as well, as they will glimpse back the Ancient Apparition, not the biggest of kills, but something as Carl gets a dominating streak. <laughs> Sanking epicenter only clipping Lumic. Tusk sundered back by the TB. That's a long cooldown to expend as the Nyx is found and the Ice Blast is coming. Nando nearly doesn't quite get clipped, but Carl and Grimms being chased down by the Gyro pops his BKB as Face Hugger goes to work with the Flat Cannon. Spamming out the damage, two man burrow strike, an execration have been caught. Nando's in so much trouble, he's got nowhere to go. He's got a really really run but he has no movement speed ice vortex and the range whirling axes as evos go diving in for more burrow into troll axes down goes carl's lashrak um i think nando has made several mistakes here first mistake was tp'ing mid alone second mistake was not mantering out of mana leak and third mistake made Flip flop again with a two man borrow. They just need a bash on the Carl, and Troll is trying to go to work at it with a ranged attack slow. He secures the kill regardless as Lumic found in behind the tier three. And a logic with that BKB. Going in big as they take down tier three. Look for Rax now as the buyback starts to come out. TB is alive. Start with that impale. Snowball on through, trying to catch on with a glimpse on. They do grab two inside the Static Storm. They get a couple of kills here. Execration chasing on towards Facehugger. These buybacks have to pay off, and it looks like they will. The Illuminate buys a bit of time, but the stuns are there. And Carl will get a double. Execration, they're all too slow. Ice Ball will come through, but the Ice Blast will come through bigger as the Sand King's Power Strike starts off the fight nicely. Fernando pops the Meta BKB, turns and burns, kills off Coltle and AA, but the Troll in on top of him. Facehugger. Face sitter as he gets on top of Carl and the bashes from Illogic will start things off beautifully. Carl tries to turn and fight the Sunder from Nando will buy a bit of time, but the homing missile opens things up now as the Yule stops the snowball. Nando turns to fight, but he's got to run and flip flop. Not quite landing the burrow strike, but Van is still last man standing in this team fight. We'll try and trade back for the Sand King, but in the meantime, well, they jump in. Susk. We'll get snowballed upon as the Glimmer Cape is there. The damage not coming out from Execration, though. And they lose their Tusk in that mid. And it feels like right now there's nothing Execration can do. A good two-man Impale starts things off and pops the Aegis. Facehugger BKBs. He has to stand his ground as the Epicenter will arrive. They heal from Illuminate again. Keeping these EVOS guys up and running as the two-man Borrow will surely secure the kill on Carl. Bashes galore. The Sunder back. TB keeps his Lashrak alive. Defender's advantage no longer exists with a Cottle on the enemy team. A two-man Borrow turns around the two-man Impale as the Ice Blast flies over their heads and Carl obliterated as Grimms dies in the back end and TB up at the front. Illuminate into Carapace, two-man Impale. The blink forward from the troll though. GG is called. Game one. Goes to Team Evos here.